Hey everyone, it's Lily or Cool Rice Bunnies and today I'm going to be doing a video all about um, how I store my resin supplies and where I get them from. Um, this is the storage unit I use to um, hold all of my resin supplies and it's just your general plastic drawer unit with wheels on the bottom by the company Sterilite. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right but um, you can find these really at any place. I got mine from Walmart and it was like $15 to $18 so really nice um, for storing all of my things. It holds everything that I need for resin crafting and usually it's over here by my wall but I just moved it so that way there's better lighting for this video. So in this top drawer I have all of my silicone molds and the first one that you see here is this shiny mold that I got from Crafters Delights Store Envy. It has a lot of different shapes. It makes the pieces really really shiny and as you can see I cut it all up because it's just convenient that way when you're working with resin. Um, these molds here are some shiny heart-shaped cupcake liners and they are from Daiso. Uh, Crafter Slice actually sent me these a really long time ago and they're still to this day some of my favorite molds to use with resin. I also have some more cupcake kind of liner things and these are shiny in the inside also and they're just regular circle ones. And I actually got these at um, five below for three dollars. So that's that. And then some more little cupcake or tart um, liners. There are these silicone ones. And I believe these are from Daiso. I'm really not sure. Uh, little Surprises YT actually sent me these. So I can't really tell you guys where to get them. Then I just have some more cut out pieces from that shiny mold I showed you earlier. And here I have some Fred ice cube trays. So there is the company that makes these and these are just the robots and gears ones and this is the bone chillers mold by Fred. And I personally got mine at my TJ Maxx, but you can get these places that sell kitchen supplies because these are ice cube molds. Um, you have to really look around. I think some craft stores might hold them, um, but I'm not really sure because I got mine at TJ Maxx. And then this is another ice cube tray that I actually got from Forever 21. And I got it there a long time ago, so I don't think Forever 21 actually has this anymore, but it's just like a heart ice cube tray. And then I have these cut out little silicone molds, which are by Wilton, the baking company, um, I guess you could say. And this is the Wilton square mold. I got this at Hobby Lobby, but you can get them anywhere that sells baking supplies, um, usually in craft stores. And this last thing that's in here is not a silicone mold. It's actually just a silicone doming mat. You can put your resin pieces on top and if they overfill, then they'll fall in these little cracks here. But uh, I don't really use this too much. I got it from Crafters Delight's Store Envy. She doesn't have it anymore in stock. Um, she actually sells a different kind of doming mat now. So if you're interested, I'll have her store linked down below so you can check it out. So in the second drawer here, I just have my other resin molds. So this is my tile mold and I got this again from Crafters Lights Store Envy. It's about five by five inches and I really like this a lot. Then I have some of these molds which are actually made by Cats Perfect. I will link her website down below. This is the Fancy Bow Mold and this is the Scully Girl Mold. I do have a review on these two molds if you wanna check that out and I'll link that video down below for you guys. These two molds I got from my local craft store, um, Hobby Lobby, and they're just the basic like resin jewelry molds. Uh, you can get these at most craft stores in the resin aisle, so that's where I got those. And then I have these, which are actually just some pot holders um, for kitchen use, and I got these at a local store in my town that sells kitchen supplies, but I know you can get stuff like this at places like Walmart or Target. And basically it's just um, what I use to dome my pieces on. So I lay it flat and then I put my pieces on top of it. And when I pour more resin on top to dome it, if the resin overfills, I mean, if the resin overflows, then it just falls into these little crevices and it doesn't stick to the mat because it's made out of silicone and it's really convenient. And then here I just have the extra parts to like my other silicone molds that I don't use. And this is what the whole Wilson mold looks like if you guys are interested. So you can find that at your nearest craft store that sells baking supplies. Now in this third drawer, I have all of my supplies that I need for mixing resin. So as you guys can see here, back here I have my box of resin. And for those of you who are wondering, I use Envirotech's light 
pour on high gloss finish resin. I purchased this at my Hobby Lobby craft store, but um, I think most craft stores sell resin and you can also get resin at hardware stores, so just check around. And then I just have some popsicle sticks that I use for mixing resin and I got those at my local Dollar Tree. Um, here I have some resin stir sticks that I again bought from Crafters Light Store Envy. I have some of these plastic shot glasses that I purchased from the Dollar Tree, which I use for mixing resin sometimes. And then I have these random plastic cups. I also have these plastic cups. And um, I like using these plastic cups because they are made out of a specific type of plastic. If you can see here, it says five inside of the triangle and it's five PP. And if you ever find plastic that is that type of plastic, usually yogurt cups are made out of this plastic and just random cups and Tupperware, um, resin won't stick to it. So you can mix your resin in these types of plastic and if it cures in the cup, that's fine because you can just peel it out later. And that's what these little um, containers are made out of. They're made of that same plastic that 5pp plastic there and I picked up a set of four of these from my local Dollar Tree and I used them to mix my resin in. As you guys can see there's still some like dried resin in here but it just comes right off. I just haven't cleaned them out yet <laughs> but yeah they're really they really come in handy so I like those a lot. Then I have these like cocktail stir sticks. I don't even know what they're called but I also got these from my Dollar Tree and I like to use these to mix resin also. And then for safety, I have my nitrile gloves, which I purchased at Walmart. And you really should be using gloves when you're um, using resin because it is very hazardous for your skin. Um, inside these cups over here, I have these little measuring cups that I use to measure out equal um, portions of resin. And I believe I got these also at Hobby Lobby in the resin section. Um, then there's just some tape because sometimes you might need tape. And then I have a Sharpie marker that I use sometimes when I'm measuring things. Just miscellaneous stuff. And then the last thing in here um, is Mod Podge, which I use to seal my paper stickers so that way they don't get eaten away by the resin when I embed them into pieces. <laughs> I'm just going to close this drawer. And then the last drawer down here is probably my favorite drawer. And it has all of my glitter and all of like my other things in it. So I will show you guys. I have some Martha Stewart Iridescent Hearts and Stars. You can find Martha Stewart brand glitter at most craft stores that carry her. I specifically got these glitters, I believe, at Hobby Lobby, but I've also seen them at places like AC Moore. Um, I think maybe Michaels carries them, I don't know, but you'll just have to check your local craft store to see if they have Martha Stewart brand glitter. And then I have a ton of glitter by this um, brand called Wow, and I will show you. It's wow glitter and all the bottles say that. I purchased this one at TJ Maxx and if you guys can see here, they're originally $25 for this whole thing, but I got it at TJ Maxx for uh, $12.99. And then I also found these kinds of glitters at Ross. So here's this one and again it says, this one says $26 originally, but then again I got it for $12.99. So Ross and TJ Maxx carries these um, types of glitters. You just have to check around in the home decor or crafting area because they do sell art supplies. So here again $26, $12.99. So yeah, if you guys want me to do a glitter collection to show you specifically all the glitters I have, I'll do that for you guys, but I'm not gonna go through all of them because that would take forever. And then in this bin, I also have some other Martha Stewart brand glitters. I have this um, chunky white glitter that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's some of like my favorite glitter to use. I also got this from Hobby Lobby and it is just the white or clear cellophane. And I really love this. Then I have some random glitters that my dad actually gave me, so I don't know where to get those from. And these are some glitters that are from like the Dollar Tree in different baggies. I have some of these little confetti pieces that I got a long time ago from Crafters Delight Store Envy. I don't know if she has these in stock still. And then I have candy sprinkles that I actually purchased at Joann's Fabric Store. But you can get these basically at any craft store that sells baked goods. Not baked goods, um, baking supplies. And then here's just some more cellophane. 
And then this is the Cast and Craft color pigment that I use to color my resin. So for those of you who wonder what I use to make the backs of my resin pieces white or pink or red, this is the brand I use and I bought this at Hobby Lobby. So yeah, and then the last thing back here is actually this glow in the dark powder that I haven't used yet and you can buy this at craftroyal.com and I'll link that down below but um, I've seen a lot of people use glow powder in resin so I'm pretty excited to do that. And that is basically it for all of my resin supplies and like my storage. Of course, I didn't show you guys my stickers or anything like that because that's just stored somewhere else and I use stickers for other things also. But yeah, that's basically it for this video. I hope you guys liked it and found it useful. Here is just another view of my um, drawer set. Again, I got this drawer set from Walmart and you can probably find it at other places like Target, or, um, you know, just places that sell organization drawers like so. And I'm just going to move it back to where it originally was. So that's where it usually is, just against my wall right there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And check out the description box for more information and links that I mentioned. And that that's basically it. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.